I have a rooted Samsung Galaxy S23 here. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to install new over the air updates on it while also keeping all of your data. If you have gained root access to your Galaxy S23, Galaxy S23 Plus, or Galaxy S23 Ultra, then you'll notice that you cannot install monthly security updates using the built-in updater. If you try, then you'll be given an error like this. Or you may see a message saying that the software has been modified and it is not able to install these over-the-air updates. You can see that even though we are on one UI 5.1 with Android 13. Looking at the bottom of the software information page, we only have the February security update installed. So today I'm going to show you how to install these new over the air updates with a rooted device while keeping all of your data. Now to start, we need to manually download that new over-the-air update. I use a program on the PC called Freya to check for the latest firmware for my device, but, but you could also use many of the popular Samsung firmware repository websites like Sam Mobile or Sam FW, if you'd like. Just make sure that you're downloading the compressed file from a source that you trust. This firmware file then needs to be extracted to your PC so it can then be loaded into Odin properly. But before we do that, we need to patch the AP firmware file with the same version of Magisk that you have installed on your Samsung Galaxy S23 series smartphone. If, if you're not familiar with ways to download Samsung firmware, be sure to look in the video description below as I'll have a link to a couple of videos that show how to use Freya or the Sam FW website to download those firmware. After that has been downloaded, extract the files in that and then you're going to find one file that begins with the letters AP. We need to then copy that firmware file to our Galaxy S23 and then we're going to open up Magisk and tap the install button at the top here. Now we're going to choose the select and patch a file. And then you're going to browse to wherever you put that AP file. Let's go ahead and select it. And then tap the let's go button within the Magisk app. Magisk will then extract the contents of that firmware file because there are actually a lot of smaller files packed into that AP file. And then after it has made copies, it will then begin to patch the required files with the Magisk binaries that are used to give the device root access. This will then output a file named magisk underscore patched. And then we need to connect this to our PC so that we can copy that magisk underscore patched file back to our computer. I store this file in the same folder as our other firmware files that were just downloaded and extracted so that they are all put in the same place. So again, you can see that the phone is rooted. I have apps and games installed on the device. Things on the home screens have been moved around. So you'll be able to easily tell that the device is being updated to the newest version and data is not being lost. 
We now need to boot the Galaxy S23, Galaxy S23 Plus, or the Galaxy S23 Ultra into download mode. And in an attempt to prevent this video from being longer than it needs to be, I'll be linking to a dedicated video that I have already done that shows all of the steps involved in booting these smartphones into download mode and you'll be able to find them in the video description below. Don't forget that when you get to this screen, we need to press the volume up button to actually get into download mode. And then let's connect it to the PC with a USB cable and then open up Odin on the computer. So our phone is connected to the PC and you can see Odin does detect it. You can see it says it has been added and it is displayed as a COM port here. Now we're going to go ahead and load the firmware files into Odin starting with the BL file. So we're going to click the BL button here. We're going to browse to where the new firmware is. And then we're going to select the firmware file that begins with the letters BL. Then we're going to click the AP button. And instead of loading the firmware file that begins with the letters AP, we are going to load that Magisk underscore patched file there. Next, let's click on the CP button and then select the firmware file that begins with the letters CP. And finally, we're gonna click the CSC button. And this time we're going to select the file that begins with home underscore CSC. We're able to do this and keep our user data because we are going from a rooted device to an updated rooted device. Now, if your firmware file also has a user data file in it, you can load that from here. My firmware only has those five files, a BL, an AP, a CP, and a CSC file. So for mine, I will be skipping that here. Here is a look at my options tab in case you have changed these settings on your version of Odin. And when you're ready, we're going to click the start button down here at the bottom. Now during this process, we want to be patient and we do not want to handle the Galaxy S23 Galaxy S23 Plus or the Galaxy S23 Ultra at all. We don't even want to touch the USB cable because if we interrupt the installation of these firmware files, then we could end up causing our device to go into a boot loop. So we want to make sure that our phone has a stable, solid connection to the PC with that USB cable. And I recommend just keeping the Galaxy S23 on the desk or the table or any other sturdy surface so that these files can be installed properly. You can monitor the progress by looking up here at the progress meter. You can just watch it to make sure that it is not stuck or frozen. That way we know that the process is continuing properly. But if you want, you could also look at the device itself as there is a progress bar at the bottom of the download mode screen. You'll notice that the super file is quite big, so it takes a while. But as it gets to the end, it will pass through that and continue on with these smaller files here. When everything is done, 
we're going to get a green pass message up here. And you'll notice that the smartphone has rebooted on its own. You may even notice that the device reboots twice. That is normal. This boot up back into Android should take about the same time as you're used to. Since we did not delete any of our data and Android has not been reset, it should take about the same amount of time. When the phone boots back up, you can let it finish with the system update. Since we did install a new version of Android, those apps need to be optimized before you can boot into Android itself. And then we need to let the system update finish. So when the phone boots back up, the first thing that I recommend checking is Majisk to make sure that we still have our Majisk binaries installed. And then we can take a look at the software information section of the About Phone settings menu to confirm that Android itself has been updated to the latest version. I hope this helped everyone who was wanting to install new over-the-air updates on their rooted Samsung Galaxy S23 series smartphone. If you came across any issues during this process, or just have a question about Android in general, then don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. I'll be sure to reply as soon as I'm able to.